Yo, so I have to put this disclaimer in front of all my videos in order for YouTube not to take them down. So, you must be 18 years of age or older to watch them. Enjoy. Yo, what's good to YouTube? It's Papa Shane here, and in this video today, I got a bunch of trim and shake in these bags. Bunch of sticks of butter. We're making edibles, baby. So, all this trim and shake in here is from my last grows, maybe like six months, a year ago. This is from both of them. The Stuffed French Toast, the Skywalker OG, and the Green Dragon Clones. All this is from them. So, I've been sitting on it for a while. Might as well just do something with it. We're going to make some edibles. This is not a how-to video because this is actually my first time making can of butter. Right? Papa Shane the Stoner Man. Never made edibles before. What? Yeah, this is my first time. So, you guys are going to follow along with me. We're going to see how hard these things hit, if they even do. Man. Let's get started. All right, so to begin, I'm gonna be separating some stuff inside of these bags. Like you can see, look at this one. This is filled with a bunch of fan leaves. This one has some good stuff. So pretty much, I'm gonna filter out with my fingers just the fan leaves, the stems and everything, and anything that has at least a little bit of trichomes, I'm gonna keep for the edibles. So let's just dump all this out. Like shit like this. I mean, yeah, we can keep it. It has a little bit of trichomes on it, but pretty much I'm not going to be too picky and get all the fan leaves. I'm pretty much just going to get the stems. That's what I'm really, really worried about. So we pretty much got all the stems and big fan leaves out of here. Now we're going to transfer this onto a baking sheet and then decarb it. All right, the decarb process. Why do we do it? Because this is just THCA right now. And for this to be psychoactive, it needs to be THC. To get that, you have to decarb the weed, and that's putting heat to it. So when we're smoking joints, smoking bowls, when we're putting that flame onto our buds, that's decarbing it pretty much. So right here, we're turning the oven to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to leave it sit in there for probably 40, 45 minutes. I'm going to stir it up every 10 minutes, make sure they're not getting completely burnt. And that is decarbing our weed to make it hella potent so it smacks us, y'all. 45 minutes and our shake trim is decarboxylated. You can see the difference in the color. So I'm gonna let this cool down like 10, 15 minutes. While we do that, let's get this ready. So for every two sticks of butter, I'm gonna do one cup of water. Let's start that right now. Now we're gonna get this water boiling. So we got our water to boil. Let's turn this down to low, and then we're gonna add our sticks of butter. I forgot to tell you guys that in the back right here, we weighed out the shake and trim, and that pretty much is an ounce and a half right there. I'm gonna go in with maybe five, six, seven sticks of this butter. We'll see how much we need. But yeah, we're gonna let that melt on low until it, the butter melts into the water. So we're mid-mix. This is looking a little bit watery. I have five sticks of butter in there. I'm going to add the sixth one right now. We got our butter fully melted. So next step, pretty much just dump all this into there. All right, now that we got our trim and shake in there, I'm going to give it a nice little stir. And then pretty much we're going to leave this on low. I'm going to put a top on it. And then we're going to let this sit for three hours. And then I'll come back and mix it like every 15 minutes. All right, three hours later. And this is what the ending of our weed and butter infusion should look like. So the next thing we need to do is get a container. And then I'm going to use a cheesecloth to strain out the weed and shake from the butter. So let's do that. Get our mixture and then carefully pour it into this. I got that rubber banded to the container. There we go. I want to get all of it, baby. So we're just going to strain out that nasty stuff. Spilt a little bit on this side, but fuck it. All right, I'm going to get that all in the middle. Take this rubber band off real quick, wherever the fuck it is. Right here. Like 
so and then now let's strain it Woo, that's hot boy don't touch it with your hands do not touch it with your hands get you some fucking tongs do it like that, boy. See, you could tell this is my first time. Come on now. Woo-wee. That cheesecloth is dry. All right. We're done straining that out. Now here is our final mixture. All we got to do is put a lid on this, and then we can keep it in the fridge for like three hours, something like that, overnight, if you guys want to make sure that it solidifies. 100% or if you want to speed up the process just put it in the freezer for two hours Make you some edibles So we left this in the fridge overnight and you can see the water and butter separated right there The next thing we have to do. Let's take this lid off Whoo, that's a nice color to it and this shit reeks But I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the side right here or Honestly, I'm just gonna get this Completely off of the container and then we just need that water out of there you know what i'm saying so poke a nice little hole like that we'll use that butter again don't worry we'll use it we don't want that shit though that's what we don't want yes sir Boom, look at that. Now we're left with our can of butter. So like I was doing before, I'm just going to cut along the sides just to get this loosened up for us to use in some edibles. So we are going to be making something real easy, just three ingredients, fruity pebbles, marshmallows, and then our can of butter. We're just going to be making some cereal bars. Um, pretty much, instead of using regular butter, I'm just going to use the can of butter we're going to use three tablespoons of butter, a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows, and then six cups of Fruity Pebbles. So first we're going to get our butter in the pot. All right, we got the butter in there. Let's turn the heat on to medium low heat and then put the marshmallows in there. So now I'm just going to sit here and mix this up until the marshmallows fully melt together. Yes, sir. This is the consistency we're looking for. It's all melted. I'm going to turn off the heat. And then now we're going to do six cups of the Fruity Pebbles. Super easy. So once we're done mixing that up, pretty much just get you a baking sheet or a fucking glass tray. Line it up with some parchment paper. Then put that baby in there. Then we're going to let it sit in the fridge for like 30 minutes to an hour. Then we're going to get baked. Ooh, boy, it's time to try them. So I started cutting these into little quarters and I was gonna cut them in half after that. But I said, fuck it. We're gonna do a whole quarter piece for you guys for this video. It smells like some weed. And yeah, it tastes like weed, y'all. It tastes like, it tastes good actually. It doesn't taste like weed too much. It's got the weed hint. This tastes like my high school plug edibles, bro. This is bringing me back, man. Homemade Eddie's, y'all. This actually ain't too bad. It's got a little, little hint of weed. Like, you know, when they got that strong weed taste, you don't want to keep eating them. It's no problem. We'll be able to do this. I'm gonna fast forward the process. Y'all, 
Not gonna need dinner after eating a whole fucking, look at this, quarter of this in my stomach. Last bite, bombs up, baby. All right, y'all. The time right now is 4.01 p.m. We're gonna check up on me in like an hour, two hours. See how long it takes to kick in. Woohoo, y'all. Let's check the time really quick. Obviously, I'm sitting here watching the Maple Leaf game. 6, 12 p.m., so it's about two hours after I ate that quarter slab of it. Y'all, I am feeling right. I didn't pass out, but I'm feeling good. I got a nice little body high. My face got hella fucking hot for some reason, so I'm guessing we peaked right there. But y'all, I'm loving this shit. I'm definitely gonna be making some more edibles out of this butter, making some oil maybe in the future or something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Peace out until the next video.